Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt, and today we are talking about a brand new bottle of bourbon. If you go to Sam's Club looking for this bottle, they're probably going to tell you that you're a stupid idiot and you went to the wrong ginormic warehouse store because this bottle can only be found at Costco. Faux show. Today, we're reviewing the brand new Costco Kirkland bourbon whiskey. This super heavy son of a bitch comes in a one liter bottle and I picked it up for $18.99 from the closest Costco to my house. I heard that these were hitting Costco shelves everywhere nationwide. I went on the old Google Maps and I was like, Costco. Turns out there's a Costco within an hour of here. Heck yeah. So I loaded the family into the Van Bergini. Wife, child, child, all three of them into the van. An hour later, Costco it was. $18.99 for this one liter, 65 pound bourbon whiskey from the Barton Distillery. Turns out though, this bottle was much more of a pain in the ass than I anticipated. We left Costco homebound. What the heck is that? We're driving through the Glenwood Canyon in Western Colorado, and we come around a curve. Matt driving. Diddly do, diddly diddly do, diddly do. What's this? Stopped traffic. If there's one thing I've learned here in Colorado in the first month I've lived here, stopped traffic in the canyon, bad. Turns out, little bit of a mudslide about a mile in front of us. The earth gave way. <laughs> Flash flood warning. Was I scared? Nope. Was my family freaking out? Nope. They were totally super strong. The Lamborghini stuck in traffic with a line of cars a mile long in front of us. I got out of the van. I trucked up the road ahead to find out what lie in our way. Turns out, 80 feet of mud. It all ended just fine and well though. America. Just a quarter ounce for the review. Don't need any more than that. Just a quarter ounce. Perfect. Everything ended up all fine and dandy though. They turned the traffic around and they sent us on a detour home. 57 go north on 131. 131 north? Yes, and then you're gonna go west on 40 and back down on 13. The mudslide occurred about 30 miles from our house. A four hour detour. A frigging four hour drive home. I bought this bourbon at 4.01 p.m. We returned home at midnight. Son of a bitch, I already hate this bourbon. You suck and you cost me a whole day and a lot of stress, flash flood warnings, mudslides, scared kids, scared wives, terrified dad, just what the heck? Why would you do that to me? You enticed me with your pricey. You made me want it and I don't even know why because obviously you're not even gonna be that good, are you? Are you? Cornmeal. Dusty cornmeal. Little peanut shell. Little banana. It's like a it's like a banana bread with the nuts. It's like the banana bread that you put the nuts in, for sure. It's like a banana bread that you made out of bananas and corn. It's like a banana cornbread with nuts. Yeah, a little bit young on the nose, a little bit of dusty graininess. Not a terrible thing, but also not great. The color looks like apple juice mixed with a bladder and then peed into a glass. But again, I'm not expecting a lot out of this $19 bourbon whiskey. The only thing I'm expecting is for it to give me an entire day back. Down the mountain slide. A little bit fruity, a little bit nutty, a little bit grainy, not bad, not terrible. I don't mind that, I don't mind you. You definitely weren't 
worth what I went through to get you, but you're not bad. Very sweet up front, rushes back to the back of the palate pretty quickly. Lots of lingering sweetness and fruitiness on the front of the tongue. Um, kind of red fruits, like a little bit of raspberry, I would say. This whiskey is not bad at all. This whiskey is actually kind of good. Kirkland Signature Small Batch by Barton 1792 Master Distillers. So they source this son of a bitch from Barton. It says small batch selection, so you know that they batched it in a batch that somebody on the marketing team considered to be small. It's batch number 1124, even though it's their first batch they've ever done. It is 92 proof and it is one liter. Again, says small batch on the back, so you know that they're really hanging by those words. Kirkland Signature Small Batch, again, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey, is enjoyably smooth with its notes of oak and rye spice accented by vanilla and caramel. These notes grow and meld together, ending in a sweet, lingering finish. I agree with that. I'm not a doctor, but I, I am licensed to tell you that I think that this is a pretty damn good bourbon for under 20 bucks. I would say that this is a no-brainer. Go ahead and buy it. If you don't like it, super sorry, it was $19. If you love it, then super good. You've got a new favorite bourbon under 20 bucks. Word on the street is they're also gonna have a bottled and bond version and a single barrel version of this product hitting the shelves at Costco sometime soon. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for that and then I am not gonna go get it. Driving through the canyons was once enjoyable and super pretty. Now it is terrifying because I'm afraid I'm gonna get just destroyed by mud and muck and rocks and boulders. And if there's anything bolder than me in Colorado, it's a boulder through the side of my Lamborghini. My name is Matt, this is ADHD Whiskey, and like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on not driving through rockfall areas where there is just like wildfires in the middle of torrential rain and downpours with flash flood warnings. Unless of course you want to terrify yourself and your family over a bottle of $19 bourbon. So, whoops, you're good though. You're good though. Kinda dig you. Kinda dig you. Like they had to dig all the mud off the road.